test me, boy. I'm overseas at about 100 G for show. Don't test me, boy. Please give it up for Pitbull. Two songs in the chart, two new songs in the chart. Which one do we want to talk about first? Back in Time. Well, Back in Time was an amazing opportunity that was brought down the, the pipeline through two people from the Sony building. I looked at it for such an amazing opportunity for us and a platform for us and us being here in Latin Billboard. Men in Black 3 is not just a movie. It's a business. It's a franchise. It's a multi-billion dollar franchise. So to me, it was a win-win across the board. But I think the most powerful message behind it is enseñando que hasta las películas necesitan los latinos para la plataforma y enseñarle a ellos. Tú sabes cómo nosotros somos una parte muy grande de las campañas que ellos tienen y para todo lo que están haciendo en todos los mercados. Y para mí es donde nosotros podemos enseñar el poder que tenemos de nosotros y tenemos que entender qué es el poder que tenemos. Y so Men in Black 3 viene siendo eso, es un ejemplo. Eh, cuéntanos del track con Shakira, porque el track de Shakira es de tu nuevo álbum coming up, right? Yes. Um, the, the new record with Shakira, she kind of just came over and asked for ideas and what was going on. She wanted to be back. She said, I want to tap into the Latin roots, but from the streets, I said, there's this movement called Mambo in Dominican Republic. This guy named Kata, he's got big records down there. You might want to listen to him. She's like, oh, I think we should change this part of the beat. Maybe we could try this. I said, mama, do whatever you want at the end of the day. Okay, because when we sit back, and in the music business that we're in right now, we sit back, we pick which is the hit. You may disagree or may agree, but every other one that we didn't pick is going to be a remix anyway. <laughs> so it's a win-win, mama. That's the way I look at it. No problems, just solutions. I'm, not, I'm, I'm very easy to work with. I like to get in there, be on time, do my job, and get out because... I got, I got fun to have, man. Well, that's, Life's too short, baby. Man. So when is this record coming out, the Shakira one? Hypothetically speaking, I say mid-June, maybe early July release on this record. And when is the new album? It's called Global Warming. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the room knows about Global Warming. Global Warming comes about, it's called Pit Life in Global Warming. And the reason that I put those together is because I feel that our career, our culture is Global Warming. Um, when you look at it, my career it's been global warming. When you get these people that start talking about, oh, he just made it, he just made it, he just this, say, no, I've been here. So it's the same thing as global warming. Global warming is something that's been spoken about for so many years, which my mother first spoke to me about global warming in 92, cuando mi abuela se estaba tocando con el hairspray. Y dijo, ¿tú sabes lo que tú le estás haciendo al mundo con eso? Yeah. No te lo juro, así empezó la, la conversación. So it's the same thing if you look at our culture. Now that the censorship support came out, everybody's trying to figure out how to market to us, how to tap into our buying power, how to tap into our growth, how to tap into our loyalty, you know, generation in, generation out. And that's what makes us so powerful. Now we're showing the power of what we're doing, and that's our global warming. Now we showed up. We've been warning them for so many years and trying to get in, trying to get in. Y ahora dicen, hey, how do we market to those guys? Dicen, no, no, espérate. <laughs> Tranquilo. <laughs> I'm going to take you again back in time because uh, a, a track that I love because I just think it was so well they're all clever but oh, I, I think this was particularly clever was I Know You Want Me as far as I know you want me you guys understand this is called the music business so when I say literally it's 90% business 10% talent that's exactly what it is if you understand that then you can start to do business in the music business I Know You Want Me was a record that was already out so basically I look at the record and I do my own survey I say, okay, already playing on the radio with nothing on it, already in the clubs, people dancing to it. So just imagine if you would have put some words on this that were a little catchy. Wow. You know, I told you, there's no genius to what I do. I keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. Simplicity is the key to success. The most important thing that any artist can do is real simple. Or be at the banquero, or be at the agents that can tell you they can get you this house or this car or this, or be at the doors. You get that money and you reinvest in yourself. Because no one's going to bring you back a return on your money more than yourself, meaning your career. So if you get a, a, a record and you invest into yourself, the promo of the record, the PR on the record, the video on the record, and you put a team behind it, it may cost you a little bit, but you just doing what the label is going to do for you or supposedly do for you. When you do that for yourself, it's the best investment. Once they see that you're broke and that you're, or, or that you're, you're running on, on empty, or, and you know what they take advantage of? They take advantage of the one thing we love, bro. The one thing we love, which is our music. And they'll, every, every, todo juguito que ellos pueden sacarla eso. They'll do it. They'll do it and laugh all the way to the bank on you. All right? And hand you an award at the same time or maybe a plaque. Y tú todavía ahí, imagínate, muerto hambre. So this is, I go back and remember, music business. Okay? This is the music business. Ever since you started from the very beginning, your tracks were bilingual. Mm -hmm. 
and, uh, and now it's so common. What did you say to people back then? I had a slogan, and it was uh, two hip hop for Latins, two Latin for hip hop, for hip hop, no? So I got to the point that you go to these award shows, right, and uh, they'd be like, no, we're not, Pitbull's not nominated because his, his album is too English. And then you'd go to the award shows on the English side, and they go, not that I care about awards, to be honest with you, but just giving you an example. And you go on the English side, they say, oh no, his album's too Spanish. No, but espérate. Ustedes están confundidos, o yo estoy confundido, you know? I forgot about award shows, I forgot about politics, I forgot about charts, I forgot about everything. And I said, the people I'm talking to talk just like me. Okay? They're bilingual, just like me. Okay? So there, one way or another, the masses are going to speak on this. Okay? And that's exactly what happened. Uh, what else do you want to share coming up? No, I just, I just want to share with you guys, you know, this is, this is really, when I say it's a movement, that's exactly what it is. I've always looked at it that way. Uh, to me, it's, it's all about empowering. It's all about... When we go out there, they understand that there's no way they're going to get into this culture and exploit it or extort it. That I will not let happen, not on my watch. And we've shown that music is the most powerful language that there is, and we've shown that through music everybody relates to each other. But with that said, this is about opening the door and creating opportunities and showing people how to really, how to really take advantage of them. Not so that they have a hit one day and then we never hear from them again. We don't want that. All I've been bred to do, and I've been raised to do, and taught to do, is to take advantage of an opportunity. Jennifer Lopez gave me an opportunity. I made sure that I took advantage of it, okay? Mark gave me an opportunity. Shagira, Enrique Iglesias. These are all people that have worked so hard to get to the level that they're at, and they're very picky on how they protect their brand. So I wanted to make sure that anybody I dealt with, that you built a reputation to that point where they knew you were about your business. Tu no vienes pagar to mess up their brand at the end of the day. I want you to take that example that I just gave you, and I'm looking at the world like an opportunity for us, okay, for our kids. So when they want to get into Harvard, they're not looking at them, oh, un Pere, un Gonzalez, un Rodriguez. He said, no, un Pere, no, tráelo acá. Let me let him in. What is he got? What's his grades? What's this? You know, it's all about bettering what we're doing and making everybody that's coming up under us as strong or better. So that's a part of our movement. That's a part of our plan. And believe it or not, yo soy un jodor, me gusta bailar, disfrutar, hablar miércoles. Okay, porque es parte, imagínate, de mi sangre, pero de negocio, bien recto, bien claro. So para todo el mundo y afuera, I'm giving you guys the blueprint. I'm telling you exactly how, how it is and how it goes down and how it's going to go down. And hopefully next year we can have the same conversation and you guys can see a lot of the things come to life and go, wow. Me cago su madre tipo esto. And for you guys, you know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And what happens in Miami never happened. Ha! 305 to like that, darling. We in Miami, tengo